Welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making homemade pizza dough, homemade pizza. So the first thing I'm going to do is add three quarters of a cup of warm water. You don't want it hot and you don't want it cold, just somewhere in the middle. Then I'm going to add a half a tablespoon of sugar. and two and a quarter teaspoons of active dry yeast. You can just buy the packets if you want and use those. It's two and a quarter. And then I'm just gonna give that a stir and let it sit for about five minutes. I'm gonna cover it with a towel and just let the yeast do its thing. So I'll be back in five minutes. While I'm waiting for my yeast to do its thing, I'm going to start mixing my other ingredients. I'm going to use two cups of all-purpose flour, a half a tablespoon of sugar, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And just give that a good stir. Okay, it's been about five minutes, and you can see that there's some bubbles in there. I've got my dough hook on. You can do this by hand. It will just take a little longer because you'll have to knead it more. So I'm just going to add about a third of my flour mixture and get that started mixing. Just keep adding a little bit at a time. And what you want to see eventually is your dough will start forming a ball in the middle and pulling away from the sides. And I'm just going to keep adding the flour until I get it all in there. this mix for three to four minutes okay it's been about three minutes and as you can see the dough has separated from the side and you just want to take that off and I'm going to push this aside And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of flour. And I'm just going to knead that a little bit, maybe a minute or two. The machine did most of the work, but if you don't have a machine, this is how you would knead your dough. Once you have that done, you form it into a ball. And it shouldn't be sticky. Um, then I'm going to take a bowl and just put about a tablespoon of olive oil. And just coat the bowl. And I'm just going to put my dough in upside down at first. Kind of swish it around and then flip it and get it covered so it doesn't dry out. 
And then I'm going to put it on my radiator because it's nice and warm, but just find a warm spot in your house and let it sit for between a half an hour and an hour. It should double in size. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes and our dough has at least doubled in size. So what I'm going to do is start preheating my oven. I have a pizza pan pizza stone. I'm just going to put some cornmeal on there, which helps to prevent sticking. And I'm going to heat this up in the oven. Okay. I'm going to take my dough out and I'm going to start shaping that into a round circle to fit on my pizza stone and just keep spreading it. You can use a rolling pin until you get the size that you want. Once you get it all rolled out, I'm gonna use a pizza peel to make my pizza so it's easier to put it on my pizza stone. And I'm just going to form a crust around the edge. Just fold it up and over and pinch. Okay, once you have that done, I'm just going to poke a few holes in the crust to keep it from getting bubbles. I'm going to take some pizza sauce. You can put as little or as much as you like. It really doesn't take a whole lot of pizza sauce on your pizza dough. And just spread that evenly. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of oregano. And a little bit of basil. And then I'm going to put my cheese. I've got some shredded mozzarella and some fresh mozzarella. And I'm just going to drop the fresh mozzarella on top. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little black pepper on top. And my toppings. So I'm going to do half pepperoni and half green peppers and onions. You can use whatever toppings you like. And then the peppers. And I'm using red onion. Okay, I've got all my toppings on and I'm going to transfer this into a preheated 425 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes. Just keep an eye on it when the crust starts to brown and it gets bubbly on top. It's done. I have my pizza stone in there already heated, so I'm going to slide this onto that and I'll be back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so it's been about 14 minutes and our pizza is done. Your cook time will depend on how thick your crust is. 
this crust is pretty thick. So it took about 14 minutes. I'm just going to let that cool for two to three minutes and then I'm going to cut it. I hope you give this a try. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. That would help me out a great deal. And I will see you on the next one.